2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Browser. Okay. All right. So we have typically seen uh, the examples we have spoken about servlets. All right. Now even we have spoken about uh, the get method, and if you can see, there is a limitation. The get method has size limitation. Only one zero two four character can be in the request string. So when I talk about request string, this is my request string. So when I do a submit, this is my request string. Okay. So I can only have one zero two four characters. That's what it specifies. Okay. So never use the get method if you have password or other uh, sensitive information to pass to the server. Because as I said, if you have any kind of password, do not even use these kind of methods. So servlet handle this type of request using your do get method. Okay. Now you have got the post method. If you see, uh, uh, you need to use your do post method in order to access your uh, post methods. Okay. Now we have spoken about couple, uh, only one uh, one method from your request that is a request dot get parameter. Okay. So with the help of request dot get parameter, you can request uh, you you call request or get parameter method to get the value of a form parameter. Okay, the same way you can say uh, get parameter values. This uh, call call this method if the parameter appears more than once and return multiple values for the example checkbox. Let's say you have a checkbox. Let me just uh, drag and drop a couple of examples from my system and let me just show you that. Okay, let me close all these things. Close all these things. Okay, so we'll even see your get parameter values, and we'll, we'll see the get parameter names also here right now. Okay, just stay tuned. Okay, copy this. Okay, so I have an example. Let me just drag and drop that example out here. Okay, so come here, drop this, drop this out here. So let me just say it as hello servlet two, for example. Copy this, bring it here, paste it. Okay, I'll just say hello servlet. And if you see here, uh, you have no limitations. Uh, if you want to have multiple URL patterns for a particular servlet, you can bas basically specify using your URL patterns. Okay. So here in this case, you have got URL patterns equals to so and so and so. Okay. This is also one way you can specify. So you can have multiple URL patterns for a single servlet. this copy this and paste it out here right so I have got hello servlet so let me see what all methods I have it here okay uh, at the end of the session I'll, I'll copy and paste a couple of other files also uh, so I would request you guys to at least go through those files and understand and uh, try to execute it Okay, so so that you come up with some questions and then we can uh, discuss about those things. Okay, so here I just request that get parameter names. So let me see where do I have this hello servlet. Copy and search it. Okay, give me a second. I should have copied and pasted all the examples. Okay, 
So this is my request get parameter get parameter. Okay. So let me just use the same thing here, and uh, let me just say hello servlet to okay, or let's say uh, we will give this name as parameter names example. Okay, I'm just going to remove all these things. So I've got hello subject two, and I have given the name as param name example. Okay, so I will come back to the uh, do post method. Okay, whether it's a do get or do post. So it will say request it get parameter name. So let us see what is this parameter names. Okay, so I just copy instead of having your action, I will just say parameter name example. Okay, so form action equals to parameter name example, and Ultimately, it is going to go to your parameter name example is what there is your hello server two dot Java file. Okay, so it comes back to the hello uh, server two dot Java file. It comes here, takes all the requests. So let's see what's going to be the output right now. So let me clear this, compile it. Uh, folks, is there anyone who is not able to follow it, or it is pretty much fast for you guys to understand? Please just give me a message privately or what it doesn't matter yeah um jeram mm -hmm. actually uh, i was not able to log in today maybe the password was not correct i don't know what happened wrong uh -huh. so i just like couple of 5 minutes ago i joined so i am totally no i am not getting okay so i would i would request you to you have to go through the video then okay hey uh jeram mm -hmm. uh, Quick question here. I see the annotations here. I'm not sure if I missed, but did you go over annotations? How we that spoke works about annotations that... yesterday itself. Oh, okay. Okay. So we spoke about annotations as well as we spoke about your uh, uh, configuring and videos. Uh huh. Yeah, videos. Actually, the videos uh, on mm -hmm. the link are uh, like uh, the last video is not there. I mean, I think the last two sessions. So if they could upload it. Well, I I actually send out an email yesterday to everyone uh, with uh, with the with the uh, uploading videos. I'll what I'll be doing if I'm not sure if you have got the email. I'll be on a daily basis uh, using uh, the same video. Uh, yep. I'm not getting any emails from you. Yeah, actually Fatima? I'm also not getting. Okay, I would request you guys to ping me with this subject. Uh, email video link just do not change this subject okay just say email video link and send across to jaram.h2k infosys at gmail.com okay do not change the subject uh, don't even have any kind of spaces also and shoot out an email right away uh, everyone i see 16 folks right here so I would request all 16 folks to send out an email so that uh, from today I'll be sending out all the videos. I mean, at least the videos which I will be teaching it today, I'll be uploading it in a particular drive and you guys have to access that. And uh, you will very well go back to the H2K Infosys site in order to access it later, okay? At least for uh, today or tomorrow, you will be seeing the, those videos in a particular folder, okay? So, Okay. So probably at the end of the class, I'll be seeing all those emails. So I, I'm expecting at least 16 emails from each, each of you folks. So if anyone is going to miss out, uh, please get in touch with me again. Okay. All right. So we spoke about uh, the configuration in your web XML as well as we spoke about in your annotation. This was your initial way or your old way of uh, annotating, uh, sorry, your configuring your servlet. So this is your new way of configuring your servlet. Okay. So we have already spoken about this annotations. Right. Okay, so let us go back and uh, check about uh, talk about your hello.html again. Go back. Okay, so in this, I'll just say first name is Jeram, last name is Rao, and do a submit. Okay, so param name example is not found. Param name example, so I have to restart the server. 
close this build this now there is one more way even you can uh, start a server just say control 3 okay and just say server if you say server out here it says servers and you can see your tomcat server has been listed out here you can and you can see what all uh, files has been uh, or what all projects has been deployed now here in this case i have only my web pro project okay and if this has been stopped you can right click on this and just say start okay now if you remember uh, we have actually done a debug for your core java programs right so you basically right click uh, debug as so and so right how do you debug your servers i mean server side programs right you want to see whether the request has come here or the request has what is happening with the request sometimes your requests are not proper so you want to check whether the request which is coming is proper or not so can you briefly talk about annotations when you get a chance i think i missed that part yesterday okay uh, pratima i will i will uh, talk about that okay in real short all right so how do you do that so i told you that you can even uh, put a debug point so if i want to put a debug point i can put a debug point here and go back to my hello.html come back here and just say submit out here right so i got some information it's, it's pretty much small um i can just say here okay get one okay so go back i hope it will be compiled all right so this is what you get right now. Okay, so this these things are null because I'm not passing any information. These things are null. Null name is null, place is null. Okay, so I did not pass any information. Moreover, uh, the name which you have it here is your name. It is not your first name or last name. So if I say here first name and let's say last name, okay, that's what you are supposed to do here. Now let's see what are we going to do right now. Okay, so my main objective is to First of all, debug this application. Once we debug, we will see a couple of other uh, methods also, which is present in your request object. Okay. Now, I have already put. Uh, Jaram, I have a quick question before that. Can mm -hmm. I ask, please? Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, I want to ask you that in this uh, uh, the method you, um, set content type, you have passed on uh, text and HTML. Right. Uh, you got it from the HTML file, I suppose. Uh, no, usually we'll even talk about this in short. Okay, just just stay tuned. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. So uh, let us try to debug this and see how where where I am right now. Okay. No, you have already done a debugging in your core Java application. Now, how do we do a debug on this server? Okay. So for debugging, again, I have to go back to the servers and I have to stop the server. Okay, how do you open this tab? Just say control three and you can just say servers and you can open this. Right click and just say, uh, you can just say again restart in debug mode. I can, I just want to stop it here. Now, let me even show you a couple of other things also, even before even going into this. All right. Now, if you see, uh, there is a method that is a destroy in your hello servlet too, right? So the moment I stop the entire server, this particular method got invoked okay so this is very similar to your finalize method you want to free up some resource or very similar to your uh, try catch finally right so wherein you want to close some connections and the same thing here if you before even your servlet get destroyed you want to free up some resource using your destroy method okay now these are all callback methods so you have it's very important for you to understand what is a callback method Callback methods are the one which gets called automatically. You don't have to call those methods explicitly by yourself. Okay, so this is the this is uh, where the advanced Java comes into picture, wherein you'll be having a lot of callback methods. Even when you uh, when you even uh, get a chance to learn about EJBs, there are a lot of callback methods. That those will be called automatically. Okay. All right. So what I have to do? Come back to the server, right click on this, and just say debug. Okay, now we are in the debug mode. So when we are in the debug mode, we I have put a debug uh, point out here. So let's see what happens here. Okay. 
go back to the this page you have the first name last name i'm not capturing the email i'm not capturing the password okay and let's see what is the view page so this is your get okay it, as of now it doesn't matter for me whether it passes to the url or it passes in the body in the in the, in the body itself okay so just say submit now when i did a submit it came here and it stopped why because i am running the server in the debug mode right now uh is it same with the service method in it is not same as the service method okay in it is only for initializing no i am asking mm -hmm. no uh, my question is you said callback methods mm -hmm. so uh, our service method and init method are they also yes call, init method your method? service methods are all callback methods okay thank okay. you all right so right now we are in the debug point so i just do f6 request dot get parameters so what is what is request dot get parameters right so request dot get parameter name is nothing but uh, it is a list so let us see that what you get request dot get parameter the first one is jram okay now the next one is route fourth as uh, third one nothing why it is nothing because if you remember in my this is my first field this is my second field this is my third field and this is my fourth field so when you say request dot get parameter names it is going to return you an enumeration okay that means when you say request dot get parameter name so let us see what is the written type of this okay the written type of this is an enumeration now if you remember your iterator in your collection the same thing when you talk about request dot get parameter names it returns a enumeration so it is very much similar to your iterator okay in case of your collections you use uh, iterator here it uh, this is also part of a collection itself okay so if you see it comes under your java.util package itself okay so the, the only thing is it your request get parameter names it returns your enumeration it doesn't return your iterator okay now with the help of the enumeration you can basically iterate or walk through the complete values which is present in your in your client okay or which is completely present in your form itself so in the form i have got one two three four okay so all the four values are coming up and if you can see the output also it printed jram it printed route it printed nothing because the third one i did not give anything and it is going to i did one more time okay and this one more time also there is nothing all right so if you want to capture all the information in one shot okay you can very well use your request dot get parameter names okay now here i just said request dot get parameter of first name last name the same thing i displayed out here okay go back to the browser and you see these informations out here all right any questions folks uh, uh, the enumeration is a is a class enumeration is not a class for us right now okay it is an interface as i said the way we have we, we were talking about uh, iterator okay so i t e r a t o r so where is this iterator this is also an interface okay so just like we use a iterator uh, here in servlets we use a enumerator e not in servlets this particular specific method okay. returns an enumeration okay if you see the written type of this method it is what it is an enumeration mm -hmm. out here okay yeah that's uh, and it it is getting the parameters which you were uh, fr from that box uh, uh it basically what it does it takes all the fields now how many fields i have got 1 2 3 and 4 fields so it takes up all the mm -hmm. fields and it captures all the information at one shot and you can very well i trade through those uh complete okay. list and you can print it accordingly okay okay so these are all okay. couple of utility uh, methods it might be used handy sometimes if you want to capture all the informations and you want to do some processing mm -hmm. you can do that okay here if you see in my previous example i used to say request dot get parameter of first name last name here i didn't do those things even if if you can mm -hmm. see here i've done it in this way but if you do not want to do it in that way you can just say request dot get parameter and you can just pass on the enumeration values out here okay you say enumeration okay. dot next value okay got right? it okay, okay. yeah
uh, folks i mean uh, i believe i have to stop here uh, i would request you guys to go ahead and work out on this and as i said please uh, write a jdbc application okay create a html page all right create an html page have a form out here enter your first name last name email address uh, or your address anything as such have a submit button and create a servlet accordingly let's say a uh, student servlet okay so that student servlet is going to create a connection or let right, create going to create a connection and save those information to the database so everything you can do it using a service method okay so i would request you guys uh, please do this and shoot out an email to me uh, with the uh, with all the files so that i can review that and if you still have any questions you can just shoot out an email to me okay so we'll just stop the class if you guys have any questions so uh, the window is open right now how does it captures radio button upload picture etc okay so we'll talk about capturing the radio buttons or uh, we'll talk about uh, we'll see uh, if i have an example i'll show you how to upload uh, upload a video or upload a file also okay we'll talk about that in the upcoming sessions uh, hello uh, jerem mm -hmm. i i wanted to ask you uh, in this uh, you have set content type okay. above a little bit above right uh, okay what is this text ht uh as of now just understand this tomorrow we'll talk about other content types also okay as of now you are saying that you are giving in the form of your uh, html you have got text xml also so let us go back to this and uh, uh where is that browser the submit There are different content types also, which we will discuss in the upcoming sessions. All right, thank you. Okay. So, all right, if you can see the hello world, it is uh, extra extra content at the end of the document. Okay, anyways, uh, let's not bother about right now. Okay, I'll be showing you a couple of other content types also in the in the uh, in the coming sessions as well. Okay, we'll talk about uh, how to drop. Uh, I mean, whenever you give an output, I want to save the complete output in the form of your Word, Word doc. Okay, I want to save all the information in, in your Word document itself directly. So I can use it. I can use a couple of other different content types also. Okay, just stay tuned. Okay. All right, folks. Any other questions as of now? No questions. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to check in all the files uh, today, and uh, you guys can work out on that. Okay. And if you see here, you just need to do an update on your April 14 batch itself. You don't have to uh, have anything as in picture. So just right click and just pull. Okay. So all the files will be in your in your system. Okay. All right, folks. Uh, have a nice. Uh, have a good night. Jerome, uh, just a quick question. Mm -hmm. How would, what is the difference between a JSP and a server? There is no difference. Uh, to on a higher end, if I say you, JSP is nothing but a servlet again. Okay. There are a lot of other differences we'll see uh, in the upcoming classes. Okay. But just to give you a higher, uh, higher uh, knowledge, your JSP ultimately is your servlet itself. Okay. All right, folks. Um, we can wind up here. And I know you guys are pretty much curious to understand JSP. Uh, when it when the time comes, you will pretty much understand what is the difference between those two. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you.